Hello and welcome back to Michael Workspace. I am Michael and in today's lesson we're going to be creating something pretty cool. A Python script that can help automate logging into any web page. Alright so we do need a couple of dependency though. We need a Selenium uh, web driver and also a, uh, a web driver for your preferred browser. I'm going to be using Chrome in this example and for the web page we're going to be logging in. Uh, I'm going to use Facebook but this will work for any other uh, popular web page that you like. It, doesn't, it could be Instagram, could be YouTube, could be GitHub, whatever. Alright, so let's go ahead and install a dependency. Open up a command prompt or PowerShell. And in here, go ahead a... If you don't have Piplet, uh, if you don't have Selenium installed, you could do a... Well, you if you want to check to see what you have installed for your packages, do a Piplet. And as you can see here, I don't have selenium so now I'm going to run a pip command called install selenium and this should be really quick it's a small library and it has been installed so now we do a pip list and you should see selenium right there okay so that part is done next thing we need is a um, a chrome um, driver I mean a, a chrome driver for your chrome browser so we're going to go out to Google and type in Chrome driver. All right, the first link you see here, click into that. And then underneath the uh, latest stable release version, go ahead and hit that hyperlink. And in here, select the operating system that you use. I am using a Windows machine, so I'm going to go ahead and click this link. Uh, obviously, if you're on a Mac or Linux, then you go to uh, the pre whatever link that it is for your machine. All right, so here's a zip folder that's got download to my downloads folder. I'm gonna go ahead and unzip that. And within that folder, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out this executable. And I'm gonna go to a different folder. And I'm just gonna create a new folder called web driver, because I'll probably be using this more often in the future and all my web drivers can be in here so Chrome you are first alright so that's done uh, then next thing we need is to uh, start coding this so now that we have selenium uh, installed we can do a from selenium import the web driver module uh, I'm also going to import a uh, another module called get pass uh, and this is a built-in module for Python so you don't need to actually do like a pip install uh, it comes built in with Python 3 alright so now that we have that we're gonna let's go out to our, our the web, uh, Facebook web page to see what it is that we need to uh, scrape and use in our Python script to automate this uh, a little program that we're going to be using so we obviously need a a element to store the uh, the email variable in and also for the uh, password uh, text box here and also finally a login button so we we know that we need to somehow interact with these three uh, pieces of element on this web page so let's go ahead and create those variables first so the username text box and it's equals to uh, it's going to be a input so you're going to be inputting in your username or your email address so I'm going to go ahead and just type in my my email address for my, for my Facebook account and then from that we can do a uh, same thing for the password but instead of using the input function we're going to be using instead the get pass function that we imported in from the get pass library and what this does is it uh, it it hides your uh, your password on screen so the user doesn't doesn't get to see what you typed in it gets stored in the password variable but it doesn't actually display it in the console on screen so it added a level, level of security to uh, your program so in here go ahead and type in a enter your password message and I did that wrong it's supposed to be <laughs> enter in your user username like that okay so now that we have those two variables stored we can 
uh, interact with a driver, web driver, by doing a driver is equal to a the web driver dot and whatever web browser you're using. We're going to be using Chrome. So in between this uh, uh, parentheses here, we're going to be passing in uh, an argument for wherever we have our Chrome executable, well, a, a Chrome driver executable is at. So in that folder we created earlier, where a Chrome driver executable is, we're going to copy this path here and paste it into uh, this Chrome driver that uh, the web driver that Chrome uh, function. And because we are on a Windows machine, we have to actually use double uh, backslashes so that it can um, ignore the escape uh, escape sequence. All right. So now that we have that, oh, sorry, we also need to give the name of the the actual executable file, so like that. And then lastly, for the driver, we have to do a driver that get and we're going to be getting the URL of our web page which is uh, https www.facebook.com like that and this is going to be uh, doing a get request out to this URL alright so then those text boxes that we saw on the web page we need to create a variable for those so I'll create a username text box it's equal to uh, driver that I'm going to be using this find element by ID function and that's how we are be able to select that uh, that text box on this web page so let's go back up here and in this uh, email or username uh, text box go to right click and go to inspect and in here we're going to be looking for the ID so ID is equal to email go back down to uh, VS Code and just pass that uh, ID the CSS, uh, CSS uh, ID selector in there and then do the same for the password is equal to driver find element by ID and we're going to do the exact same thing go to the password text box right click go to inspect and then the ID is called pass. All right, easy enough. So pass that in there, and go back up here. So now that we ha we store that, um, uh, we are able to interact with this username that text box by using the email, or by using the ID. Now we have to actually tell our program that we want to send keys, uh, and we're going to be sending in whatever we stored in our. Um, uh, not what am I doing? It should be username. Whatever we stored in the username variable up there, we're going to be passing in down here like that. And same thing for our password. So, password text box, send keys and pass in whatever is stored within the password uh, variable up top that we created here. All right. Now that we have that, lastly, we need to interact with the login button. So I'm going to go ahead and create that real quick. Login button is equal to the same thing. Find element by ID. And let's go back to Facebook here. Right click the button. Go to inspect. This one has a really weird ID, but it is unique to this uh, button here on this web page. So we can interact with it. So in here pass in that ID and then lastly we'll do a login button dot and this time instead of sending keys we are actually going to be submitting um, passing in a submit function which is basically uh, hitting the enter key uh, on the web page or hitting enter okay and with this 17 line of codes we I believe everything should be done so let's go ahead and test out our script here I'm gonna open a PowerShell uh, navigate to my working folder so I have it in VS Code projects in my YouTube folder and then in my let's build stuff uh, folder for uh, videos that I create for this uh, sort of tutorial so now I am there uh, and one more I created a what is it auto what folder is this automatic 
yep, automatic login. And in here, I have the script auto login.py, which is which is what we uh, we created here. So now that I am in this working directory, I'm going to do a Python, and then oops, Python and uh, run this uh, auto login.py file. And then here, as you can see, let me make this a little bit bigger. It's asking in our username. So Michael namespace at gmail.com. I don't care if you see that because you can't see my password. If I hit enter, now it's going to ask the password. And I'm actually typing in my password here. But because you, we're using the get pass uh, function here, it's going to hide it on screen. So enter. And if everything works fine, it's going to open up Chrome web browser. Go to our Facebook login page. And it's going to fill in those information right there automatically so it's not doing that part so why is that not working let's see are we sending in a driver text box password that send keys password password text box driver class that looks fine huh strange let's see what's the dealio Let's try this again. Uh, there was a uh, stir object has no what? That's that's not what I'm using. I'm using a uh, ah. I'm an idiot. Here we go. Text box. <laughs> we have we have to use this right here. This variable that is a a, a part of the driver, web driver, and then within that drive. Web driver module it has a send keys uh, function. So silly, silly. Let's go back to uh, our script here. Run it again. Enter in my email. Can't type today. All right. Open up Chrome. Go to Facebook.com and then fill in the email and password and also submit the login button and there you go we have automatically logged into um, Facebook now this this same uh, this same process can be uh, used to log in any any other web page you just have to change uh, whatever the URL is to that web page and then go to uh, inspect the elements on this, uh, the text box and the button for logging in and uh, and find out what those uh, unique IDs are okay and that should be it okay so if you guys like uh, what you see uh, help support my channel by subscribing to my channel and then hitting the notification sign to get alerts whenever I create new videos like this alright thanks guys have a good day